Hey, Dad, look. What? Hey, Dad, look at me. I'm watching. Dad! Okay, I'm watching, okay? I'm watching. Michael Phelps out there in those trunks, my man. Hop in if you're in yourself. I'll do you a salad. Name's Pete Best in full. <laughs> After the fifth Beatle, you know? Uh, my parents are from that anti-Ringo era. You want? No, no. I'm good, though. Thanks. What you got? Allergies or cancer, Grandpa, or something? Uh, no. Okay. Mm. Yeah, sorry about that mess, man. Coming from Buffalo. Just moving some stuff for my brother down in, the, in Myrtle Beach. Can't beat those Carolina crabs though, right? Woo! <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I've been working as a chef, <coughs> excuse me, for a couple of years. What about you, what's your deal? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? It's like your handbook, man. I'm driving, I pull over, you get in, you know, our bond is on the brink of a legit thing, so, so, driver, me, hitcher, that would be you. You know, we got we got to tell each other a little bit about each other. Kabish? Uh, I guess. Sure. So, I just told you something. <laughs> well, I was uh, headed to attorney in Hilton Head. Car broke down, walked for a few miles, you picked me up. Here we are. And what's the hassle hop club boy? What's that, Tan? I was gonna go to the beach, okay? Forgot a shirt. Guess what, Reed? Now it's real. Damn, it's hot out here, man. It needs to rain in violent fucking thunderstorms for two days straight. People need to die, massive flooding. I don't care. Anything to kill this humidity, you know? Hey, uh, man, do you mind if I throw my bag in your trunk? It's just kind of uncomfortable up front with it there and all. Knock yourself out. There should be a shirt in there, too, you can throw on if you're feeling adventurous. How did this happen? What did he say? What did he say? I don't know, Reed. It sounded the same to me as it did to you. Get off. Uh, please. You gotta get off the road. He's close. And he's armed. With a great revelation. Who's, who's close? How did you get in my truck? Please. 
my friend. I just need food. Mm. What are you doing? You heard him. He needs some grub. Yeah, I'm calling the cops, man. He might be nuts, but you can't just leave the guy. Don't touch your phone. Get the hell out of here. Food first. Not just the place. How can you be eating right now? Uh, I think better when properly nourished. Eggs. Insight thought. Great. So, they'll tell you what to do while I figure out a new way to get to the island. Hmm. So you're just gonna leave me, huh? I can't call the cops. Want grilled cheese to go? Thanks, Bob. You worried about the stuff in the back seat? Huh? The electronics, you're just moving for your brother? Hey, uh, listen, I'm gonna buy him top of the line stuff as soon as I get the cash back from selling these oldies. Alone. It's alone. Just one he doesn't know about. Excuse me, could I borrow that for a second? Grr. See today's youth getting all intimate with the headlines. Yep, could be anywhere out there. They're saying sneaky enough to escape a life sentence just to keep on killing. It's just like me and my omelets with a misfit. Strictly a matter of dedication to the craft, like a shark. A hunter returned to the ocean. <laughs> Bingo. There's no need to fret though. There's folks out there who would love to get their claws in a Terry Gannon for those kind of bills. Dangerous folk. There's always a bigger fish out there. What do bounty hunters even look like? I don't care. Look, well, I gotta use the phone. So should you. Goodbye, Pete. Hey, Gannon's seen your face. Get out of my Someone tried to run us over. No, somebody tried to run you over. Oh, you think the guy that's at the Gannon doesn't know what you look like by now? You're being a daffy fucking duck. This is not my problem. Listen, I got 50 G's worth of serial killer in my trunk right now, okay? This is happening, all right? Because it's happening. You and me, we can split the money. Wait, once I get further south, I can stash the equipment. Then, then, make the call. Just throw it all away. Leave it out back, side of the road. What is that? Oh, oh, no, for fuck's sake. Once the misfit goes down, then I'll take the equipment back. I need this. Sorry, Pete. Fine. Give me that shirt back, then. Good luck finding another ride in that bathing suit with your nips hanging out, asshole. Excuse me. Just gotta wash up before the big feast. It's good to give me grandma for calls, huh? You asked for my help, man? Yeah? I did you a favor. This man's a killer. Good luck living with yourself.
We stash the equipment tonight. All right? I know a place. And then we go straight to the cops. No messing around. We split the money. And then you take me to my girlfriend, Hillhead. Girlfriend? That's the plan, Pete. I can live with that. Who's following us, Mr. Gannon? Please call me Terry. Fuck you. And thank you for the meal. You know what kind of cheese was in that sandwich? Uh, um, American? Correct. American. Now, do you know what types of cheeses American cheese is often derived from? To create American cheese is a very lengthy process. To destroy it, mere moments. See, I know the answer. I'd just like to see if you also know what I know. Brings me great pleasure. Yeah, well, we know that there's someone after us. Quite right, my friend. He did this to me. He's a very dangerous man, they say. Well, what does he look like? You know what animal's considered to be the most dangerous creature on the planet? Hey, 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 hey! This isn't your trivia taxi death cab, all right, you fuckhead? Those people you fooled, you asked them questions too, huh? Took them out of the city with promises of cash. Everybody's seen the pictures, you fucking freak! Modus operandi. <laughs> What? The mosquito. Most dangerous creature on the planet. See, you know, you'd think it'd be like the bear, the wolf, or shark, right? Why so those little pests that spread disease, drain us of our humanity. See, itching is only the beginning. <laughs> My height, dark hair. Handsome man, if I do say so myself. But you gotta get off the road. Be certain to be out of these parks by sunrise. Then good night, Miss Finn. Same place, huh? Well, I'll be as damned as the devil. I just walked over from the Dunkin' Donuts about a quarter mile that way. Wanted to stretch my legs, grab some cans, drink something real. Ross loves those culottes. Oh, yeah, that's a true treat on a day like today. I take it Ross is your boyfriend. He likes to wash his hands. God, I am such a doofus. Yeah. Yes, he is. I'm Rachel. I'm always forgetting the little nasties of a conversation. You probably think I was raised by a pack of wolves oh, or something. Oh, come on, no. Nah. Uh, I'm Pete, that's Reed, and they're performing brain surgery. Pete and Reed. Pete and Reed. You don't mind, do ya? Ross is gonna come scoop me up. I like chatting with you, Pete. I like your beard. Are you hot? I have got some serious boob sweat going on. What's with all the stuff? I want a shopping spree. Well, hot damn! Congrats, Reed. We're actually road tripping down to Disney World Orlando. Happiest place on earth. But we won the trip through my charity group, Homes for the Hugless. Pays to do some good sometimes, that's for dang sure. Hey, you're gonna blow us all up, you know that? One dust stick is not gonna kill you, Reed. Well, then again, these nutty drivers on the roads these days are far more dangerous. Tailgaters and their big pickups. Shit! I forgot the chips. I'm sorry, it's been a pleasure, but... She's pretty hot. She's seen that truck. Under better circumstances, I might actually go for that. I said no messing around. Yeah. 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 
So you're a professional mini golfer. I thought I needed the money. Yeah, I uh, practiced here for a few springs a couple years back. So it's kind of empty. No, no oh, kids yeah. finishing their 12 stroke temper tantrums. Oh, just peaceful. Safe. So, you decided we could stash my booty at Pirate's Cove. <laughs> oh. So this is what it's all about, huh? What did you do to fuck up so bad? Huh? Let's just get this done. The sooner the better. Seriously, the longer we have Gannon, the worse it's gonna be, all right? I just need to feel like I, like I did something good, Pete. Oh, you hear that, Gannon? Huh? Did you hear that? <laughs> Reed's soul is tearing him apart. Now it's affecting my usually sound moral fucking judgment. Hey, how did, what do you think we're gonna get for your sorry ass? Huh? Quick karma? Or fat cash? Oh yeah, the universe is gonna do us a solid. <laughs> You hear me, Gannon? No, I know you can hear me. I heard you humming on goddamn thing. You're gonna have to forgive me. I'm a hummer by nature. Itch, itch, my friends. I was a fucking fry cook in a waffle house. All right, that was my fucking job. I couldn't keep it, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And you got in my fucking shit storm of a life, okay? Your turn, Reed. <clears throat> I am. I slept with my girlfriend's younger sister twice. She found out. She stopped the car. She threw me out onto the highway. <laughs> Do you see how death is our great revelation? Money and lust do not bring happiness. Ugh. Do you feel that? Do you feel that truth just flowing out of you? There is no room in heaven or hell for secrets or embarrassments, my friends. Ain't no need to cheat or steal. Ain't no true reason to feel bad about your failures. Ain't no room for remorse. Your guilt is your greatest flaw. And I'm here to rid you of it. See, my young associates learn this by joining me. By observing my, and it works. And I'm proud to be teaching my passion. So, I'd like to thank you very kindly for being their finest assignment. Ah, fuck you all! Hey, you're still far too human to be cussing, my friend. <laughs> no! No! Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>